Welcome to today's live stream from Meshman Studio and the Mori channel. So yeah, we're gonna continue where we left off the last episode and uh, well, the last episode was actually a live stream about Mori 4 but uh, before that I was working on uh, on the asset and um, yeah gonna continue with wear and tear so I had a um, let's go there so I had some uh, technical difficulties last time so I think I've fixed that this time uh, fingers crossed I uh, disconnected everything I think it was related to too much things on a, like a USB hub or something so hopefully it will work better this time and yeah we'll see so, um, before we start here, um, uh, if you see this on the rerun, consider subscribing to my channel. I do uh, VFX training, mostly uh, texturing, look development, using Mari, Render Man, but I'm gonna take a look at other packages as well and other techniques. And cinematography, and uh, that's something that I really like. Uh, so, yeah gonna take a look at uh, maybe HDR and stuff like that uh, in the future and uh, I do uh, production techniques and project based so this one this live stream is a project based uh, node graph um, hangout so I drink coffee texture um, and hang out with you guys so yeah consider subscribing So yeah, let's see if we have people on the chat. I'm gonna write something here. So yeah, if you see this on the rerun, you can add stuff in the comments below, like topics you want me to cover. So yeah. There we go, it's in the chat. So if people uh, start to pop in, uh, so yeah, let's dive into the asset. Why not? Here we go. So this is kind of where I left off. I was working on the on the metal mask. So I'm just gonna reset some stuff here. And also, I uh, in my effort to get rid of this nasty paint through issue I had I I took away all my presets uh, config files and everything so it's a little back to square one when it comes to the installment so I might have to to look at some configuration here again just to uh, I'm not sure if my no I don't have any shortcuts set up really so where is it node properties wanted there that's gonna take some basic stuff here node graph there we go actually Let's do it like that. No, I don't. So I'm a little <laughs> uh, between seats now. We we'll have more four going, uh, and uh, also there's stuff happening here in Mori three. So. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, some aspects of the Mori 4 layout uh, I would like to have now in Mori 3, so we'll see how this is going to go. Uh, metal, yeah, so we're. Let's focus in on this one. Okay, so I was about to continue on the metal mask add scratches over here 
I'm just gonna make another layer here and start to add some more scratches onto this so I'm gonna merge it with the screen. So I have um, I baked everything up to the scratches here to so I have uh, the most speed possible. So my, I have some stuff going on, some procedural stuff, and here is where I add scratches. So I, I inserted the bake point here. And so now I'm just gonna start to play with this. Let's see. going on here now yeah it was just my viewport uh, it's very tiny there. I didn't see it. Uh, there it was connected, so it, it was working. And this one is set up the screen already, so it's working. Yeah, I was a little confused there because usually I see my uh, viewport, but it has the same color as the background. Yeah, do something like that instead. Okay. Let's make this one actually some kind of green colors. So I know it's a paint related thing. Okay. Yeah, let's add stuff to this. I want to, I think I'm gonna start to add uh, stuff to uh, some scratches onto this this part here, for example. So hopefully it will work now with my paint through because the last time it was not working and I think it was related to all my so I reconfigured all my set uh, USB and everything like that. So great saturation. Add some contrast. Just gonna add some dents here and there on this barrel here. far so good so hopefully it was just a case of some kind of uh, connection issues there ah I remapped my bake command now since I did a clean uh, so I usually have it above the tab because that's, that's a place where I usually have my fingers instead of the B button. So yeah. Just gonna take some random scratches here and there. So yeah, if people are in the chat, just uh, say hello. I'm just gonna hang out here texturing, drinking coffee. I forgot about my splendid coffee. It's the um, Kenyan double A today uh, again. So uh, yeah, let's see. Um, so 
I'm gonna check out uh, Pete Patterson's um, Paint Along project as well. Let's go here. Actually, and there's gonna turn off that light. It's kind of distracting. Or I can turn off the um, visibility of it like that okay so I was gonna have some let's see if you have something else here And also I want go to display properties and take my wireframe color here, set it to white and decrease the um, opacity there a bit. I just wanna see where I'm painting. I don't need to paint this in shader mode really. At the moment I'm just gonna go around here and add stuff this let's see if we have something more um, not really scratched just something that's micro dented yeah something like that like it's been uh, scuffed but not really penetrated through so I'm thinking um, about um, community hangouts and stuff like that and uh, if people are interested in uh, like showcasing uh, their personal projects, maybe want to show it to people on my channel, uh, you can hook me up on Twitter. Uh, so there's it down uh, in the bottom of the, you can see my Twitter account. Maybe if you have something you wanna, want me to show in the live stream, you can hook me up there and I will uh, maybe feature it in upcoming episodes for example like Pete Patterson is uh, paint along but yeah everyone doesn't maybe doesn't really have a, um, a home page or something but maybe you can send a picture or something I can discuss about it or if you want feedback um, so yeah that's something we could extend the uh, live shows to the live streamings so yeah if you see this on the rerun uh, and you wanna be uh, part of this community have something featured or uh, want your my input or something in the live stream hit me up on Twitter it's gonna so yeah I think my problem with the paint through starting I think it was related to my actually my keyboard or something or my Wacom because I had stuff connected to my Cintiq and there was a lot of things connected to the porch I think it was like a conflict somewhere so it might have been uh, something there take this this one as well and you add some random oops I don't want the same thing to close there it's gonna look strange Let's 
So yeah. So we have a few people in the in the stream. So yeah, if if you can uh, say hello in the chat, uh, know who's here. Yeah, this geo has a nasty. Um, uh, should crease. There's something wrong with the UVs here. I think there's a missing crease edge or something there. So normally, if this was something, I would obviously fix that. But I'm not gonna do it now. This is just. Uh, it's not gonna lead up to anything. Oops, that looks strange. Um, more like, yeah. Let's see. Good evening from Edinburgh, says Pete Parison. Hello from London. How are you? So Pete, I think uh, my problems with um, with my paint through must have been uh, hardware related, and that that makes me happy. Because I, I couldn't understand what was going on there the last time. So my trip last uh, weekend was nice. I was going around. Um, I was actually in Windsor. We had a, a trip around London. Uh, and well, first off, I'm from Sweden. So we Swedes, we, we drive on the other side of the road. So that was uh, <laughs> an experience in itself. Uh, just driving on the other side of the road and um, getting back to London when I was returning the car was also uh, very interesting because in the actual parking garage where I was supposed to leave the car they had found something that looked like a bomb so the police just blocked off the whole uh, street where I was supposed to leave it so and I didn't know that it uh, that that was the case so I was trying to get back uh, and it was impossible because everything was blocked off and yeah That was interesting But yeah, I was in Windsor and in different small uh, Places around London um, So yeah, it was a nice trip And we had the dog with us Nala She had a good time as well So yeah, it was very interesting. I would like to have a car, but it's so expensive and and actually the whole uh, the whole uh, driving in London is not fun actually. More on the countryside. Yeah, adventure time. And yeah, I drive too seldom nowadays, now when since I moved to London. And on the wrong side of the road, so that's an adventure. 
in itself. Okay, so let's see if I'm gonna duplicate this maybe. And transfer it over to the other one. Just gonna take one piece at a time here. Copy, paste, copy. Let's see, so I choose the right one. So I could link this as well. Uh, let's actually do that now. Um, so that's something we can hook up here. So this one and ditch this one. And uh, link. Let's actually, it's easier to take the patch. Um, this one. So link those two. Those two. Let's see. I have to check this one and this one. This one and this one, this one and that one. So let's see if this works now. If I have them both, whoops. Interesting ups. Now, if I paint on one of them, it should end up being on the other one. Let's do something brutal here. Yeah, not so nice maybe. But yeah, it works. So now it's if I, I can paint on them both at the same time there. So usually, I might do something like this and then I go back to to one of them so then I have to maybe do a patch unlink and uh, start to remove some of some stuff on uh, one side to get get away from the most obvious repetition and maybe add something else on the other side to make it stand out as a unique one so for example this is one is probably so yeah if it's something that's obvious and I noticed I have uh, something going on here. So what's... So it's the same there again, I have this nasty issue on the UVs. It's gonna see where it is actually. Oh, it's over. Hmm. Oh, it's that piece. This very badly UV piece here.
Let's do it like that. Whoops. Yeah, it really explodes there. So the, I didn't model this with the crease edges back in the day. And uh, I subdivided this using open subdiv now, so that's something. I'm suffering with now. I'll do something quick here. Okay, so let's add some general scratches on this one. Let's actually patch link this. So it's this one and this one. Okay, so I guess internally here, I'm just gonna take away all of this. It's gonna be solid, um, just metal peeking through here. Like it's been rotating. And then I'm gonna do something like this. Can I go here and add some extra breakup? On the border there. Like it's been rotated somehow. I don't think it's gonna be seen that much. It's gonna be covered, so... Yeah, so now we see I just painted one and the other one was automatically updated so you have to be careful when you do this so you don't I mean it's gonna look copied obviously so you have to unlink it and do some tweaking on one side or the other after a while so it doesn't look too repetitive so that's depends on what part you're painting I guess So here, I, oops, and let's take a really big, direction there whoops so I could also let's take 
take this one. Just want something. Uh, Like that, I guess. Oops, too much maybe going that direction. Here's another point that's gonna be abused a little there. Let's find some general, oops. So how's it going Pete with your uh, texturing? Have you done any more uh, updates since I was, since the last uh, live stream I was looking at it? So if you see this on rerun, I'm talking to Pete in the, in the chat, not talking to myself. That's some interesting, I must have uh, had a paint, like a paint through object there because it looks very strange from the side there. But yeah, let's gonna fix it. So I guess the next time on Sunday I will um, export all the maps and render something until next sun until Sunday. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it looks when it's more like shaded for real. And uh, I might also take a look at um, Mori 4 again. It's a new beta out today, I think they released another public beta. So I'm gonna check out what they fixed. There was a, some uh, bugs, but I've heard that they also fixed some of the my number one request is to get the speed into the the bake point node so i hope they've fixed that now i haven't tested it myself but i was I've spoken to people that say that it looks like they addressed the issue with the bake point speed and that's something because i, I use it a lot in production it's such a valuable tool but when it takes a long time but yeah, I really like to be able to bake stuff with a bake point and be able to rely on it. So, so yeah. I 
Okay, so Pete has problems uh, watching because his Wi-Fi is very limited. So, yeah, uh, see you on Saturday, Pete. Don't uh, hang around the <laughs> with a poor Wi-Fi. That's that's boring. But yeah, I will uh, I will come back to you on uh, Saturday and see if you have any updates on your project and that you're painting along so yeah Yeah, the paint through alert would be cool. So that's, uh, I requested something on the the Mari forum to, today because I, just this week I've been painting through objects a few times and I'm like, oh, this looks very good, really good paint. And then I s rotate my asset and I realize that I have paint running through the whole thing and that that just not good because you might <laughs> might have to paint uh or redo everything you did there for a while and that's so yeah i would like to have some kind of almost like a red border or something like telling me like yes you are in paint through mode not just this icon down here oh it's it's even under have to so this is the only icon that tells me that I'm in paint that I'm painting through the object and that's kind of uh, small and unnoticeable if you don't look down there. So yeah, I would like to have a, a big cue like warning you're uh, painting through the object. Because it's kind of annoying to like for example here we have something that's been going through the whole object and this border actually looks really crap I'm gonna redo this completely I'm not sure what this is that looks horrible as well let's redo that as well probably had some kind of paint through there going paint through again or a very might have been border mask turned off let's take something more um, with this kind of edge think we we'll take this one So I think it's when I paint something like this, I will probably not go this far with the um, to mirror it because it's starting to look. You can see the same features. I would probably need to take it to a certain level and then dial back some of the major features and paint in some uh, some other features in as well. But yeah, at the moment, I'm just gonna add some stuff here. So this one looks very 
clean actually here. Haven't really done that much to this. So yeah, now we can see the Let's actually now go in and turn off patch linking. And take away some of this just to make it stand out a bit so you can't have this on both sides that's gonna look strange make something different there so it doesn't look too repetitive calls for a coffee so we have Slava Sush I'm not sure how to pronounce hello how are you This funky. Let's see. You can see if I'm gonna run a script here to see if it works. If I open uh, Foundry, let's take away of some of the pop ups to the Foundry forum. Rory posted a script for camera, see if it helps with my scene. Um, community discussion. Camera, was it this one? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna run this in my Python console. If it's up. I had some issues with my camera just disappearing into the distance and I think it has something so yeah it's if you have that issue there's a forum called um, camera presets error um, so see if it helps something with the look at point or something is getting the same transformation as as uh, the center point or, or something similar. So if you run that script, it should reset cameras back to the default state somehow. I'm not sure what, what it actually does, but that sounds something. So we need to do something about this back cover here. Let's isolate it. So if you wonder how I isolate something like a patch in the extension pack, you have this isolate selection, the control one. It's my most used <laughs> feature in the extension pack, I must say. I use it all the time to just hide and unhide things on the fly. 
It's similar to what you have in Maya. It's very good. Uh, to you are all yeah that's uh, if you go to foundry that's foundry.com and go to community and discuss and then you have products go to mori And I think it's more in use and general discussion. I think you can see this if you're not um, a uh, subscriber as well, or like a member. I think this forum is open. I'm not entirely sure because I'm and the camera presets error. But let's. I put it in. I have to do it on my other computer. Put the link into the chat. Hold on. It's in the chat. Uh, work. You ask if I work with mouse. No, I work with a Wacom pen. Mostly, I have a have I have both mouse and I usually use mouse when I'm navigating some stuff. And my when I paint, I use my Wacom. Mouse is more like. Uh, Doodling around in uh, node graph sometimes, or um, so at at work I have um, I have my uh, my Wacom mapped to the primary monitor, and I use the mouse for the secondary. This because I don't want to stretch the surface of the Wacom over to um, monitors because then you're essentially decreasing your resolution and if you map something that wide it's gonna be um, very strange because when you paint you're gonna paint if you paint a straight or if you paint an oval it's not gonna be oval it's gonna be, or like a circle it's gonna be like a egg shape because you mapped it to two monitors so yeah. So I'm not sure what, what do you mean with apparently didn't understand the past dialogue with the mention of the mouse. Uh, no, I didn't. What what do you mean? I thought you are, uh, asked me if I paint with a mouse or a Wacom. Oops. Something on this one. Whoops. I'm gonna solo this. Let's take something else now to break my 
behavior pattern here a bit. Let's see if I crush this one. some of this I guess this one could get a proper this is almost Yeah, again, this edge here should be creased. I don't bother to do that now. It's going to look terrible. So I really need to find some better scratch mask. It's time to take a uh, photo safari with my camera get some new interesting scratch masks I think so that's fine Slava that's no worries it's good that you uh, practice. I'm not super good in English as well. I'm from Sweden, so yeah, it's not my native language as well. So, so when I first moved to London, I ended up sitting next to uh, a Scottish guy and someone that speak, spoke very quietly and that was terrible like uh, I think like how is gonna how am I gonna like, survive this I'm not gonna understand anything <laughs> so the, the Scottish guy he had a really thick accent and the other guy he was just mumbling and I was trying to figure out what were, what they were talking about but after a few weeks I started to understand them both so yeah can be interesting with accents and uh, dialects sometime let's see if I yes go so I get some of this finer breakup So yeah, my paint through is holding up still. So it looked like I had uh, hardware problems after all the last time. So I'm happy about that. So it wasn't my scene that was freaking out or anything. So here we have something interesting. Very different there so yeah um, so I'm planning to do um, Mori 4 tutorial similar to what I did on the the Mori 3 introduction so but I'm not gonna do that as um, live streams it's gonna be 
uh, more uh, offline tutorials is gonna come between live streams here and there. Now when uh, Foundry is starting to get for ready for a release. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, so this edge here, I have to take a look at what's going on there. Let's do something about the binoculars there. So well, yeah, so uh, I have scratch textures. I just want I, I have a lot of them, but I'm um, <laughs> I think I think they're boring and I want I would like to take some new with my camera. So but yeah, uh, thanks for the for your uh, suggestion there. So these ones I think is from uh, downloaded them from this what's it called texture.com I think I think most people have used these textures for scratches that I'm using at the moment Okay, so I have to check that link out. But you said that the groovy reserve was imperfection. So yeah, um, it's always good with some kind of dirt maps or grunge maps, metal scratches, similar. Let's just copy this over now. And let's take away some of that now. So it's not too obvious. And add something else instead. Oops, not the same feature. Let's take this front section here. Can I go and take some of these smaller 
chips here and there in the front. What time is it? Yeah, I've been at it for an hour, so it's kind of starting to get to uh, that. I'm not usually going over an hour on Wednesdays because, yeah, I'm uh, working all day. So this is more like a short update before the main one on Sunday is gonna be uh, around two hours again, similar to the usual live streams I do. So I'm planning to do some offline renderings of the state of this asset for the next one so we can see where where it is now so that's that's fine you can uh, you can at least see what I'll do Slava that's fine if you if you don't understand everything I say that's fine um, So I think I'm gonna let's go into shaded and see how it looks. If this, I'm not sure if, if I have baked. Let's close this one. Do I have a bake? That's a bake point. I don't have anything until it goes out. So yeah. All out. Let's take a look here. Just gonna see here. So it's quite dirty. Let's take a look through the shader there as well. Let's take my lights and enable the background so we have something to judge against. Oops, that's my dog. Let's see here. It's gonna, now it's selected. Ah, it's a little slow. Let's take a look here, see what we got. And that came through there as well. Yeah on our way to greatness so i'm gonna export the maps for uh, the next time and render it in random man so yeah let's see what happened here have some things going on there as well some scratches there yeah Okay, so I think we we call it um, call it a day for today now. So that's gonna go here for the end screen. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. This is Meshman Studio and the Mara channel. So if you see this on the rerun, consider subscribing because I'm go live uh, Wednesday and Sunday usually. And it's about texture and look development in Marian. Uh, use Render Man for rendering. So yeah, thanks for hanging out and consider subscribing. And see you, see you on Sunday. Bye bye.